captain from the wheel left behind by the late Brigadier General Solomon Giwa Amu, chairman of the foundation Egbert Imomo, says they are only fulfilling the vision of the former ADC to President Obasanjo, who believed in empowering young people to maximize their potentials. My emotions were touched by the fact that at such a relatively young age, Solo had a clarity as to how he wanted to touch and change the lives of many. Friends, colleagues, and family members eulogized the sterling qualities of the late Giwamu, who many described as a fine officer, indeed. Giwamu was one of the best officers this army has produced. He put God first. He put his family next. And himself as much as the world around him. One of those who has been imparted by the patriotism and integrity of Solomon Giwaamu is former classmate and medical doctor Francis Ogbolu, who mobilized and funded the trip of 10 of his colleagues from the United States to Nigeria to perform surgical operations on about 60 indigent Nigerians, a feat he hopes to continue in memory of the late officer. One day, through his many solo talks, we talked over 90 minutes, and at the end of the conversation, I was not the same anymore. I became impregnated, re-impregnated with the vision of why we are Nigerians. We have a great nation, we're great people, and there's no problem we have that we cannot jointly address. The Solomon Giwa Amu Foundation no doubt started on a good footing as over 200 million Naira was realized at the launch. Solomon, my forever love, made me so proud during his life but has made me so much prouder after his death. And this gathering witnessed today is simply an attestation of deep, genuine love and friendship. Indeed, to live in the hearts of those we love is not to die. Prince Ola Banjo, AIT.